is the jungle in the spring. Lush, green, savage. A time when all the wild inhabitants become restless. All nature goes on the prowl, the hunt. Soon many of the water holes will dry up beneath the searing summer sun and the hunter will find less prey on the low flatlands. Only the strong survive in the deadly jungle existence where the code is win or die. Every beast possesses a sixth sense which warns it of danger. Sometimes that warning does no good, for most often the strongest is the quickest. So the endless hunt goes on, and even the hunter doesn't know when he himself may become the hunted. Johnny! Johnny! 
Looks like the commissioner's office brought another jungle traveler. This is Johnny Weissmuller. This is Miss Marston. She wants to travel into the Baku country. I know it's dangerous. I told her that, but... I intend to go anyhow. Would you guide me? Well, I can take you as far as the land of the Uribes. Beyond that, nobody's safe. Then we can leave immediately. Uh, Mr. Jones, could you please see... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I haven't told you I'd take you yet. But I'm sure you will. Thank you, Mr. Jones. <laughs> Let's make a good job of this, Kimba. She's liable to be around here for a while. She's as stubborn as I am. Where is she? Fresh caught fish are always better. You should taste my New England chowder sometime. I'd like to. <clears throat> you will, if you have to catch enough fish. Kimba hooked one, but he got away. <laughs> so they have fish stories even in the jungle. Is that right, Kimba? <laughs> okay, okay, I believe you. Make this dangerous journey just so you can write a book about it? Well, there's much more to it than that. You see, for several years, I've been doing intensive research on Ra, the ancient Egyptian sun god. It was later the Egyptians worshipped another deity called Ammon. I feel that those ancients knew a great deal more about the secrets of life than we do today. secrets, we'd know why some men are white, others black or red or brown, why some are large, others small. That's pretty deep stuff. Those Egyptian sun worshippers definitely had something. The sun is undoubtedly the source of all power. Perhaps it's also the source of all light. Then you think the answer's in the Baku country? Yes, something which could be of benefit to all mankind. It's all right. Dolimo, what brings you so far away from your village? We search for my eldest son, Maro. Dolimo is chief of the Aribis. Miss Ellen Marston. Himself. Your son is lost? Maro go to hunt Nayama three moons ago. When other hunters return, no Maro. Tracks in ground, little men, moon men. What does he mean, moon men? They're a tribe of pygmies. Pygmies? Baku means moon in ancient dialect. Are they from Baku country? Little men from Baku country. That's where I've been trying to get you to take me. But we're not equipped for a safari like that. Maybe we are now. You think the moon men took your son into Baku country? Tracks lead to great stone wall with many carvings. Then no more tracks. A stone wall with many carvings? Oh, Johnny, we've got to go back with them. We'll be the first outsiders to set foot there in modern times. 
Why do you say just modern times? Well, if you'd read my last book, The Historical Basis of African Superstition, you'd know. Miss Marston's a writer. Centuries ago, a white civilization is supposed to have flourished in the Baku region. I've heard the story, but do you believe all that? That's what I came to Africa to find out. If it is true, it'll be the basis of my next book. Johnny help Nolimo find Maro? All right, Nolimo. We'll start the first thing in the morning. Ansante Buana Makubwa. Ansante Mims help. For you a lift, miss? Oh, what in the world? You mean you? where in the world? We've had lots of dates, Ellen, and in pretty strange places, but never anywhere like this. <laughs> Who said we had a date? I thought I made it very clear. That I, I can't I... hear a word you say. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Santa. What are you doing here? Mr. Prentice hired me to find your party. We followed your trail. Yes. Any objections? Not if he doesn't stay. Uh, Bob Prentice, this is Johnny Weissmiller. Bob's a friend of mine from the States. Johnny Weissmiller? Well, I've heard of you many times. I guess I'd better be getting back. If you'll pay me off, Mr. Prentice. Oh, sure, let's see. 500, wasn't it? That's right. Masakalisa! Many people run through jungle. on the last time you saw him? May I see it? These letters are ancient hieroglyphics. They read, The High Priest of Baku. Maro say he was with Oma. High Priestess of Baku. Oma, the High 
Art Rhesus of Baku. It's fantastic. There's ample evidence the Bakus actually did exist. Ancient hieroglyphics describe them as adept in witchcraft and astrology, where they even claim to have mastered the secret of eternal life. You mean they could live forever? If that's so, why aren't they still around? Well, it's believed their civilization was destroyed by a cataclysm of nature, but maybe some of them still do exist. Oma, for instance, the high priestess. Well, we've caught somebody who ought to know for sure. <laughs> See if we can make the little rascal talk. Good work, Kimba. What's your name? My name Dummel. He understands English. You moon men killed Morrow with a poison dart. No, we don't kill. Oma kill. Oma? How could she kill him? She wasn't here. She give him medicine. He lived if him not try run away. He was drugged. Oma wanted Maro for her high priest, is that it? Because Oma killed Maro, my son. Haribis kill Oma. You, Damu, lead us to her or we kill you now. No, Limo, you can't take the law into your own hands. We'll find Oma and bring her to justice. If justice not given killer of Maro, I, No Limo, chief of Haribis, Go into Baku country and kill Oma. You have my word. Justice for the death of your son. First I take eldest son to Aribi village. There all my tribes will gather for honorable burial. I'll wait for you here. Umgawa. Well, it's been an interesting little coffee, Klotz, but I have to be going. You can take Miss Marston and Mr. Prentice with you. No, I'm going with you, Johnny. I want to be there when you take this mysterious Omar prisoner. I'll tag along, too, if it's all right. I don't trust you with these jungle men. <laughs> we'll use this for evidence and then turn it over to the authorities. Let me borrow that a moment. Uh, do you mind? No. Go ahead. Well, it's real, all right. I hope you enjoy the hunting, Mr. Prentice. 500, wasn't it? Yeah. Thanks. your passenger. He joined some friends in the jungle. But I found something that's worth a hundred passengers. What was it? What do you suppose made that scratch on the windshield? Somebody took a shot at you and missed. I'm serious, Reagan. Me and my sense of humor. It was a diamond. Hmm? A big diamond worth a fortune. It was attached to a pennant around the neck of a dead native. There should be more where it came from and we're going to find them. Where'd the native come from? Baku country. And that's unexplored territory. <laughs> We'd be risking our necks. Yeah. That diamond's as big as Santo says it is. I'm willing to risk my neck. Me too. Looks like you're outvoted, Max. Okay, but don't say I didn't warn you. Let's get our gear together. We want to start as soon as we can. How long do you figure on being gone? It's hard to say.
Raja Lunem Omen Maromotem The spirit says I must avenge the killing of my son Maro by Oma and the Moon Men. Another around. Well, let's take care of this one first. Now it's my turn. I told you we had something in common. <laughs> well, it is exciting, but is it love? There you are. Well, that's enough for one day. <clears throat> Pretty lucky, hmm? you. Stay here and entertain our friend. Stay here, understand? I'll be back. Good shooting. 
But I think you've got another visitor out there. You've got the scent of those pigs. Then he'll be hanging around, keeping us awake all night. That settles it. I'm going out after him. I want to be able to sleep. Looks like you won't have to go after him. He seems to be coming after us. There he is. Get back to camp and see that our guest is comfortable. All right.
What happened? The moon men shot you with a poison dart. I removed it. They must have a powerful jungle drug on those darts. They even fooled our feathered friends. They took Bob. We've got to go after him. We can't. We've got to wait for Nolima and his natives. We can't wait. Not after what happened to Nolimo's son. We've got to find them before it's too late. All right, pack up. I'll leave a sign for Nolima to follow us. They came this way. Bob is still with them. At least he's still alive. We said goodbye to you, Santo. You did, Johnny. We found your camp deserted, so we followed the sign you left for the limo. Where's Mr. Prentice? Well, he's been taken by the moon men. Oh, that's too bad. Johnny, let's see that pendant. I want the boys to know it's for real. It's real, all right. They can take my word for it. Johnny. Now, let's see the pen. Come on. Thanks. We're headed for the Baku country. We're going after them and Bob, too. Thanks, Johnny. Come on, Kimba.
must have gotten it. Yeah, maybe they didn't, maybe they didn't. Hey, boys, empty your pockets, all of you. Huh? Come on. Oh, we haven't got it, Santo. We're lucky to be alive. Take cover. I'm returning back, you ask me. Nobody did ask you. I'm running the show, remember? Okay, you run the show. Just send me my share. You'll get your share when we find the diamond mine. Are you kidding? I ain't committing suicide. Not for you or anybody else. Link, you shouldn't talk like that. <laughs> I told you I was running the show. must be the stone wall with the many carvings that Nolima saw. Why, it looks like the entrance to an ancient Egyptian temple. <laughs> Those hieroglyphics say that this is the temple of the moon goddess. That must be she. There was no such goddess in the time of the pharaohs. There must be another entrance. diamonds come from. Could be. Lead the way, Johnny.
real talk. Talk with Oma. But we don't understand the language. That does not matter. I understand yours. What have you done with Bob, Mr. Prentice? We will soon come to that. I am Oma. Who are you? My name is Ellen Marston. You are so young. So young. And you? Johnny Weissmar. Why are you here? Miss Marson told you we came for Bob Prentice. You are here for no other reason? For myself, no. Abuna. My little men found this on one of you. Which one of you had it? I can see who are the guilty ones. Where did you find this jewel? We got it from him. I found it on the body of Mara. These men stole it from me. For what reason? To bring it here? That's right. We wanted to return it and help Mr. Prentice, too. This pendant is worn only by the high priest of Baku. Mara was to have had that great honor, but he hated the darkness. You poisoned them. It is the law of Baku. Death for any who dare refuse such honor. What have you done with Bob? You will soon see. Let that chocolate. I have ordered a feast prepared. You are my guests. There are many questions to be answered. the sun god, and the god of destruction, Osiris? Yes. And who is the goddess in the place of honor between them? Baku, goddess of the moon. This temple is her temple, and I am her priestess. Then the legend of the people of Baku is true? It is not a legend. You see before you the living proof. But your civilization and your gods have been dead for centuries. Have they? Of course, they were wiped out. That is true. Ra, the sun god, punished us. He was jealous because we had learned the secret of eternal life. And one day he made the earth open up and swallow our cities and our people. That's what you meant when you said I was so young. You mean you have learned the secret of eternal life? I alone was spared. I escaped into the world of darkness, out of reach of the sun god and his wrath. I was alone for a long time. Then the little people found this temple and became my subjects. They fear and worship me because they know that I have lived longer than their father's fathers. As you see, they serve me well. And you never left here? I can never leave. Bra would destroy me. In my long lifetime, many men have been brought to me to become my high priest, staying here until they died. From them, I learned to speak all languages. Then they brought you Bob to be your high priest? Uta, bona feta. Not find for me, they buy. It They're beautiful. When Ra opened up the earth, 
Osiris revealed his treasures. You say you came here for Bob Prentice. If I find you are not telling the truth, you will be imprisoned in the cave of Osiris with the guardians of the temple. What guardians? She means the lions we heard. He's in a trance. Do you wish to go with them? No, my priestess. Then you wish to stay here, always? What do you intend doing with us? I will decide when the time comes. You are still my guests. I saw you were in a trance. In a trance? Well, I've been having some pretty wild dreams, but... I guess I did. Where's Ellen? She's all right. Here I go! You have desecrated the quarters of the high priest of Baku. For that, I shall order you and your friends destroyed. Why blame them? I was the one who did it. Why did you do this? To find out if Bob really wanted to stay with you. There is no reason for you to doubt it. But there is. You weren't able to hold Morrow. Yes, Morrow ran away. Up there, where the sun god rules. Always it is Ra who defeats me. Bob belongs to Ellen. He would never willingly be your high priest. Perhaps you would be willing to make the great sacrifice and take your friend's place. I would if you let the others go. And you will promise not to run away, as Maro did? You would remain always in the temple of Baku? First, I must persuade Bob and Ellen to leave me. That might be difficult. I'm sure you can do it. I will send Bob Prentice to you. Take it easy, 
honey. Everything's all right. Well, the last time I saw you, you didn't know me. Sure, Omar drugged me. She might have killed you. She didn't. I've been making a deal with Omar. Who came out ahead? I did temporarily. I promised to be her high priest if she let the rest of you go. Look, we're not leaving without you, Johnny. It's our only chance. There's no escape. There's too many moon men around her with poison darts. Well, there must be some other way out. No, there isn't. The deal sounds good to us. We'll leave now. You leave when we're ready to leave. When you get away, Bob, send the police here. All right, but I'm still worried about you. I'm all right as long as I stay here with Oma. The rest of you leave tomorrow. And you too, no tricks. If you want to live, stay away from those diamonds. Sure, Johnny. We're as anxious to get out of here as anybody. If I don't see you tomorrow before you leave, good luck. Thanks, Johnny. Kimba, you stay here. <laughs> This is the high priest robe. You will wear it. Have my friends been released? They will be, after the ceremony. Do you suppose he's trying to tell us something? I don't know. I'm kind of acting strange. I... Max. You, don't... you stay here. I'm going to try it. Sato. You're not going anyplace until they lead us all out of here. Huh? Well, who's going to stop me, Mr. Prentice? I am. What's the matter, Kimba? Something wrong? Okay, we'll find out about it. even pray it straight with your own life at stake. Homer will punish all of us for what you're doing. How do we find that secret way out of here, Johnny? Just you and me. Homer will never miss a few diamonds. Put them back. All right. I think you're crazy. <laughs> him stealing your diamonds. So you lied to me. You planned to leave. How could I hope to get away? He said there was a secret passage out of here that Morrow had found it and he'd find it too. Indeed. Damu has told me that you plan to take me with you to face your justice. But I prefer to believe you that you would stay. Now. You believe this man's story without listening to mine? I have already listened to you. 
So, you both are thieves and liars. You fight over division of the spoils. You don't understand. I warned you what would happen should you turn against me. All of you will be locked in the cave with the guardians of Osiris. And the animals will be released from their cages. Ainda! are loose. Show us the secret way out of here before we're all killed. My moon men will protect me. They fled for their lives. The lions will be here any second. Oh, show us the way, old man. Come with us. No, I cannot. I must stay. Show us the way. You're coming with us. No, I cannot go into the light. Ra would destroy me.
I buried my son. Now I come to bury you and High Priestess Oma. Nolimo! Ah, have mercy! Have mercy! Sun God, destroy her. My people free. No more slave. It was Omo who killed your son, Nonima. High Priestess, no more. Aribes and little people live in peace. Asante, Nonima Makuba. I hope you have enough material for your book, young lady. No one will believe me unless we get some evidence from the temple. <laughs> You're joking if you think I'm going back in there with all those lions running loose. <laughs> Why so serious, Johnny? I'm worried about Kimba. 